Why did we tell you this? Is it to hurt you or to help you? It's to help you, brother. Right. You gotta be around righteous, heterosexual men, bro. Right, right. Because you're around that homosexual crowd, they're keeping you in that lifestyle and enabling you. Right. Show you something, because guess what? That, that 
experience you had that got you traumatized, right? You now have to fight that. The repercussions of that or the results of that, you now have to fight and battle that up there. You understand? You know, if that, that one situation that happened to you, if that didn't happen, you would not be in that lifestyle. Right. right. You know that, right? So guess what now? Now you got to fight. You got something to fight for. Read. James chapter 1 and verse 12. Read. No. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. What did the Bible say? Blessed is the man that endures temptation. You know what the Bible said, bro? That's a blessed man. Every last one of us got temptations, bro. That's right. right. You understand? But the Bible says we are blessed if we fight. Not go into the temptation and give up. That's what you got a weak spirit. That's what a weak man will do. They give up. Read. For when he is tried. When he, he is tried. He shall receive the crown of life. What you in the crown of life? The, the kingdom. Right. Right. Where you won't be. What, do you, what, what you got in the bag right there? Your clothes? Your clothes? You bought, you bought some today? See what? Guess what? That's the law of God. Not to buy something for the Lord's Sabbath. Right. 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 You understand? Those are the things we should know. But we don't. Why? Because we follow this society and this guy. Right. This is our God. If you're in, the, in that lifestyle, this is your God. These are the people that let you do this thing. Bring it out. Not the black man. Right. right. The right. black man ain't with that. Right. right. This guy's with that. You can do whatever you want under white Jesus. Anything. Right. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. Read. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, Read. which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. See that? You know God loves you? You know what the Bible just said? You know what it said? Read it again. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, Read. which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. You know God loves these people right here. That's right. That's you. Right. right. God loves you right but not in the state that you're in right right now he's not pleased with you well how do i know how do i know that because we're reading it we're reading the instruction man from god Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. This way. Right. I, I, you know, I, there's nothing I can do. Hey, what do you think about homosexuality, bro? Can people be born like that? No. Give us a minute. Give us a minute, bro. Hold on. I gotta go, man. My you gotta go. Right here, All right. Hey, God the made us the way we supposed to be. Read the flyer, bro. So guess what? Nobody is born homosexual. Right. Right. Nobody's born queer. Right. Uh, what else they got? Transgender. Right. right. Phobia this. Phobia that. Bring it out. Gender this, gen trans this, and trans that. That's trash. All in your mind from this guy. Right. Well, that's what. Think about this, bro. Within the last ten years, how in the last ten years, all of a sudden this crazy stuff just exploded out of nowhere? Within the last ten years, on this on this level now. Bring it out. It wasn't like this ten years ago. Right. It wasn't like this five years ago. Right. But all of a sudden now. It's everywhere and in every show, even down to the children's shows. Read it again. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Read. For God cannot be tempted with evil. God is not going to tempt you with that evil. Read. Neither tempteth he any man. Read. But every man is tempted. Uh uh. Here's the point. What's your name again? <laughs> William. Here's the point. Read it. Read that part. But every man every is. Every man is what? Is tempted. When he is drawn away of his own lust. See that? So when that traumatizing situation happens to you, it put a spirit of a lust on you. Right. You understand? That's not natural. You have to you gotta fight. Now, let me ask you a question before we read on. Have you ever, you see what the officer asked you about um, how you got that way, right? 
said it was a rape. Did you ever ask your partner that same question? No. No? Yeah. Did you ever ask anybody in that community the same question? No? Why not? You know the answer to that already, don't you? Because most of them have been what? Raped, touched, molested, sexually abused. Right. You understand? But that's the evil of our people when we don't follow God's laws. Right. right. Think about it, bro. The laws of God, if we, if, if those men or women that did this to y'all followed the laws of God, would they have done that to y'all? Yep. So here's what we're showing you. The laws of God are there to protect us, period. Right. That's what the laws of God are for. It's your protection, bro. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 19. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring Deuteronomy it out. 30 and 19. I'm going to show you something, bro. I'm going to show you what the Lord said. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. No. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. So Moses telling our forefathers, he set before us life and death. Watch right. this. Blessing and cursing. He set before us the repercussions for breaking the law or the promises if you keep the law. The right. blessings and the curses. Therefore, choose life. Do what? Choose life. Choose, we're telling you, choose the laws of God, That's brother. right. That's, That's right. That's what we're telling you. That's what Moses told our forefathers. We're going to tell you the same thing. Read. That both thou and thy seed may live. Uh-huh. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God. That's and how you love God, by doing what he told you to do. That's right. Read. And that thou mayest obey his voice. Read. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. Now go back to James. You understand? So, brother, what we're going over... We're the children of God, the Israelites. That's right. right. We are God's chosen people. We're the greatest people on the planet Earth. But guess what I could do, bro? Right. Guess what I could do, though? Okay. I could prove it. We'll I could prove it. We can prove it, it to William all day. You understand? So now, let, I want you to think about something. Did your father love you? I hope he did. Okay. Did he ever punish you? He never punished you? Did your father punish you, uh, William? Yep. Why do you think he punished you? you? Why do you think he punished you? Because you was bad, right? Baby, come back, come back. Uh, listen, this is what I'm saying. If your brother, if your father didn't punish you and let you do whatever the hell you wanted and turn out however the hell you want, did he really love you? Yeah. If he let you do whatever you wanted no, he and didn't. didn't punish you, did he really love you? No, my I brother. Teach. The reason why I said that yeah. is because my father wasn't in my life. Okay, I understand. You know what I'm yes, sir. I understand, but watch this. Read that. Read that again. James chapter 1 and verse 13. No. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Read. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Read. Neither tempted thee any man. Read. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. So now you're drawn away with that lust and people are around you enabling you. Read. And enticed. Read. Then when lust have conceived. Uh-oh. Now when that lust conceives and you commit the act of homosexuality. It bringeth forth sin. It brings forth sin. Now you're in the midst of sin. And sin. And, and now that you're in sin. When it is finished, bringeth forth death. So, get what we just read? That sin eventually brings forth your death. So, by us telling you this, why do you think we're telling you this? Is it to hurt you or to help you? It's to help you, brother. Right. You gotta be around righteous, heterosexual men, bro. Right, right. Because you're around that homosexual crowd, they're keeping you in that lifestyle and enabling you. Right. You understand? So you gotta get, that's why we, we re, go back to Mark 943. So what we're showing our, our brother right here is, he's in a, a lifestyle, the LGBT lifestyle, and he's gotta repent for that. So that's a lust. You have a certain lust. Every last one of us have a certain lust. Right. Guess what we gotta all do? Repent. Right. Read that. Mark chapter 9, verse 43. No. And if thy hand. Now, did your pastor ever give you this scripture? Because you said you go to church. How the hell the pastor is not reading you these scriptures to save your life? You think your pastor love you? Bring it out. Hell no, brother. You give you, you give money in that church? Yeah, where it's yeah. about. Now, think about this. This is what he just said. He said he knows his pastor don't love him. But he's giving the pastor money. Bring it out. Money, 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 money. That's what your pastor want from you, bro. You better wise enough. Right. You ever heard these scriptures in church before? You heard this before? Really? So, how did the pastor break this down to you? He did. He didn't. So, it didn't pertain to you at the time, did it? 
But now we're showing you this is all about you. Right. It's all about our people, bro. Read it again. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. So you got to cut those people off that are keeping you in your sin. Right. Because guess what? What's the wages of sin, William? What's the wages of sin? Wages. Brother, what's the wages of sin? Yeah. Death. Yeah. Read it, Romans 6.23. That's every one scripture know that scripture. Romans 6.23 says, the wages of sin is death. Right. right. So you think your pastor that knows you're in that lifestyle, that knows you're in the crosshairs of God, and you're giving him money. And he, you think he loves you? Bring he's it trying out. to give your life. He ain't even showing you these things. Bring it out. Christian church is of the damn devil. Right. right. That's right. Hey, look, look at this, y'all. Every Christian church is after white supremacy. Teach. Every out. last one of them. Right. They're only here to keep the black community docile and oppressed. Right. right. Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. It, just like my brother said. That's what God said. So your pastor, brother, does not love you. Right. right. You should not go back to that church. Is your pastor homo? I ain't been to that church anymore. Okay. Boy, he is, is he a homosexual? I think he was in the Damn! 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 Damn. He, is he married to a woman? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. He getting, he getting boy booty on the side. <laughs> Come on, man. Down low. Down T here, down low passing. Probably got his eyebrows arched. T a little arch in his back. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.